Hey there, zombie granny. You are so absent-minded. Pick up your arm and your leg. Soon, there won't be a single bone left. Grandma seems sick. She's not as healthy as before. Her bones hurt. Everything is itchy. And there's a strange bite on her wrist. Where are my granddaughters? Let me take a nap for an hour while they are gone. Okay, I've had my beauty sleep. Now I can do something. But our grandmother didn't notice that she turned into a zombie. She can't control her arms. Her skin looks like a frog's. And where did this nervous tick come from? Happy holidays, Granny! Oh, I mean, zombie! We didn't know you were that old. Age has not been easy on you. You rest. We should probably go get some other gifts. Fragrant lilies? Ew, that's gross. And here come the granddaughters with a new gift. A stick with a bone? That's what I love. Can I eat it or? You need a strong branch for this idea. Strengthen the edge with a piece of metal. Take some light clay. Cover the handle with it. Add clay on both ends so that you get the shape of a bone. A human bone, of course. Zombies know a lot about accessories. As soon as the clay hardens, paint the stick white. This color is perfect for grandma. Everything needs decorations. Tie the cane with a gloomy ribbon. Decorate it with plastic spiders and cockroaches. This is the perfect gift for elderly zombies. I think my granddaughters are too thin. It's like nobody feeds you. You are all skin and bones. Well, grandma is about to cook something delicious for you. Thanks to this bone leg, I can move just as fast as you. For this idea, take round ice molds. Mix gelatin and food coloring, then fill droppers with the gelatin mix. Pour some blue in the bottom, and then cover the cell with red to create blood vessels. While the jelly hardens, take a glass of milk and dry gelatin. Add a couple of spoons of gelatin to the milk and mix thoroughly. Pour milk jelly into the molds. Take the hemispheres out of the cells and connect them. Big Eye is watching you. This is serious business. It looks very realistic. And now it's time for my signature punch. Cool, Granny, you are full of surprises. What's in your punch? Eyes? <laughs> of course, it's a classic eye apple punch. What's the big deal? Ooh, it's absolutely delicious. Of course, a zombie Granny knows a lot about parties. Take toy teeth and artificial nails. Cut off the fangs from the jaw. It's too weak for Granny. Cut the fake nails. Glue the pieces to the teeth and paint them with white nail polish. In order not to scare Grandma with a pearly white smile, add some dark red elements. What do you think? Does it look real? If Grandma had been a zombie when she was young, her smile would have looked the same. My zombie dentures! Oops, there's a small problem. Punch with teeth? Even a zombie can't stomach a drink like this. Come on, it's okay for old people. I will treat you to my speciality, zombie brain cake. Take a sponge cake and Oreos. Grind up the cookies and sprinkle the cake with crumbs. Pour a lot of crumbs. The thicker the layer, the more delicious it will be. 
sprinkle crumbs on the plate around the sponge cake too. Mold parts of a brain from white nougat. And decorate it with twists and turns. Put the brain on top of the cake and pour some cherry jam on top of the decoration. Coat both hemispheres with cherry blood. Place gummy worms on the ground. Now take a piece of plastic and old candles. Roll the piece of plastic up. Secure it with tape. Attach cardboard to the cylinder. Tie a wick to a wooden stick. Lower the wick into the tube. Prepare a couple of containers with candlesticks and ice cubes. Melt the wax and crush the ice. Pour the ice in the tube and then pour the wax on top. When the wax hardens, remove the plastic. Take red acrylic paint and a dropper. Decorate the candle with blood. Granny will definitely appreciate it. Decorate your zombie cake with the candle. Mmm, very appetizing. Brains! A zombie's favorite treat. A zombie can totally eat this even without dentures. Delightful! Want to try it? Oh, you like worms more? Okay, enjoy your meal. Grandma will eat the brains. Grandma, close your eyes. Now open. Look who we brought for you. This little guy will entertain you. Just don't eat him. Zombobo is a friend, not food. Just look how stylish this Halloween costume is. Our zombie granny loves this zombie costume. You will need a bandage and light clay. Make a cape out of the bandage. Knead the clay to get a flat piece. Make a groove with your knuckles. Glue on edging and make torn sides. Make a few worms out of orange clay. Paint them white. Glue them to the first piece. Add dark red paint to the bones. Next, make a brain out of clay. Glue an elastic band to it. And the costume is ready. The doggy will be surprised at first, but he'll quickly get used to his new look and to his owner too. A torn finger and bugs will perfectly fit into our overall zombie theme. Take earring fixtures and super glue. Glue the fixtures to the toys. Earrings for zombies are ready. Beauty will save the world, even if the zombie apocalypse is raging outside. Wonderful, it's drop dead gorgeous. Try the accessories on. Brains. Or what do zombies usually say? I need to ask grandma. The girls decided to bring back their childhood, so they brought their old toys. But the zombie granny doesn't like this idea at all. My granddaughters deserve the best toys. Grandma is going to show them a thing or two. If there's almost nothing left from old toys, a little fantasy will give them a new life. But they might not look very normal. Attach the head from a broken baby doll to the tail of a scorpion. Paint the neck with red polish. A dinosaur top is perfect for Barbie's legs. Hot glue the parts and decorate them with red polish. Join parts that can't be joined. This is the motto of zombie toy makers. Here, this is what you should play with. What 
would you do without your grandmother? The girls are shocked by their new toys. What fantastic beasts are these? Is it alive? It won't bite me. But now you can have fun with your grandmother and even make the dinosaur do the splits. This is Zombie Land. And now we need a swim cap. Put it on a mannequin. Smooth it out. Cut toilet paper into strips. And glue the paper to the cap. Cover the space between the strips with cotton. Coat the edges with glue. Take acrylic paint and paint the heads a skin color. Add some red to the cotton. Brains can't look bloodless, right? Achoo! Sorry, granddaughters. I sneezed so hard, my head almost fell off. We don't know about your head, but your wig absolutely did. And what is hidden underneath is a nightmare. Oh, I think we offended Grandma. We need to cheer her up right away. Here's an idea. Hide a bundle of sausages in a banana. We proudly present a one-act zombie play. Pretend to be zombies and sneak sausages out of the purse. Oh gosh, Grandma, look, it's my intestines. Catch them if you can. Finally, a wide smile appeared on the wrinkled face of the zombie. A show like this is exactly what she likes. Granddaughter, look what a nice hat your grandma made for you. Try it on. Let everyone see how smart you are, my little zombie. Thank you, Grandma. Let's take selfies. Awesome. Let me edit it and post it on Instagram. Everyone will be so jealous. To make this stylish accessory, take a hat, stuffing, and thread. Twist the stuffing into a tube. Hot glue it together and tie it with the thread. Paint the tube light purple. You have to make a lot of these pieces to cover the cap with them. Glue them with wavy lines to make it look like a brain. Wear it and stay in character. Granny, your manicure is completely ruined. Let's fix the situation. Do I use a roller, a brush? A file? No, just ordinary polish. Did you like it? Give me your hand. Oh, I didn't mean literally, but okay. To make Granny happy, you will need fake nails and light clay. Glue the nails and paint the cuticle red. Your grandma loves blood. Now paint the nails with polish. Make shapes like these out of clay and glue the eyes to the nails. Make a bloody French manicure. How trendy! This is totally keeping up with zombie nail fashion. Did you like our ideas for a zombie grandma? Which of them was the most surprising? To watch more interesting videos, subscribe to Troom Troom Select, and don't forget to like this video, click the bell, and share the link with your friends.